It's time to head to Langley Research Center on the East Coast, the oldest of NASA's field centers. The team in Hampton, Virginia is celebrating their 100th birthday this year. And on the West Coast, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory is known for constructing robotic spacecraft to go to places in space where humans can't reach just yet. Welcome to the Virtual Career Summit for NASA Langley Research Center. During this presentation, we will learn about NASA Langley Research Center, including its unique amenities both on and near the site. We will discuss Langley's mission statement and showcase the range of NIFS intern opportunities available. Finally, we'll learn what it's like to be an intern at Langley through internship highlights. At NASA Langley, I develop inflatable heat shields for spacecraft that will allow us to reduce the cost of sending things to space and even let us land humans on Mars. I test space capsules so astronauts can land safely in the ocean. I imagine, then engineer far out missions to explore the solar system and beyond. At NASA Langley, I create systems to make machines smarter so they can act independently even in outer space. At NASA Langley, I use robots to design lightweight, energy efficient structures for air and spacecraft. At NASA Langley, I design systems that allow small satellites to link themselves together to allow more flexible construction in space. At NASA Langley, I build instruments that monitor and track the recovery of the ozone layer from the International Space Station. I study how accurately we need to measure clouds from satellites to get a better idea of how climate is changing. So we can make smarter and more cost-effective decisions about climate change. I fly airplanes to improve aviation technology and climate science. I test wind tunnel models at NASA Langley to design planes that are quieter, more fuel efficient, and produce fewer emissions. At NASA Langley, I develop environmentally friendly electric aircraft that are going to transform aviation. Formed in 1917, Langley Research Center is NASA's original field center. It was formed as the nation's first civilian aeronautics lab in Hampton, Virginia. For 100 years, we have conducted pioneering research and developed innovative technologies to support NASA's missions in aeronautics, space exploration, and earth science. Within Langley, we showcase many unique facilities, such as a full-scale 30 by 60 tunnel and a 16-foot transonic tunnel. Our interns get a chance to see the center up close, like during the summer 2016 hangar tour. Off-site, Langley's location offers nearby fun. Spend a day at Virginia Beach, visit our nation's capital, or catch a thrill at Busch Gardens. Langley is a research, science, technology, and development center that provides game-changing innovations to enable NASA to make significant contributions to the nation. We are leaders in systems innovation for expanding air mobility, exploring space, and definitively characterizing the Earth's changing climate. Our work traverses fundamental research to mission development and operations with an eye toward the next generation of cutting edge ideas that provide new capabilities or significantly improve performance or cost. Internships involving aeronautics research may include greener, quieter safety transportation vehicles and systems, unmanned aerial systems, integrated air traffic systems, and advanced composites. Internship opportunities involving Mars may include Orion, Space Launch System, Launch Abort Systems, Aeroscience and Structural Analyses to enable human space exploration, an Advanced Exploration System Rapid Prototype Development and Sensor Systems. Internships involving Earth science may include radiation and climate monitoring and analyses, active remote sensing instruments, 
and air quality and atmospheric studies for impacts on environmental and public health. Internships involving the International Space Station may include study of the Earth's upper atmosphere and application of remote sensing techniques to other planetary atmospheres and assisting commercial companies research on crew capabilities. Internships involving beyond our solar system may include radiation protection and design of habitats and storm shelters to protect crew health and safety and conducting system level assessments on feature design concepts to identify systems level outcomes for all NASA mission activities. Internships involving technology development may include efforts focused on human robotic systems for deep space exploration and materials and structures research for transportation and habitation systems. Hi, my name is Zane and I am an intern in the Advanced Materials and Processing Lab and I've been working on developing a composite material that will be able to go on the leading edges of aircraft and uh, repel bugs and ice so we don't have to replace them as often. During his fall 2016 and spring 2017 internships, Zane Grady researched methods for infusing polymer resins into porous metal substrates, a practice that could decrease the buildup of debris on leading edges of modern aircraft. Zane's research has cost-saving implications for both NASA and commercial aircraft technology. Spring-summer 2017 intern Christine Odenwald has worked to create virtual and augmented reality visualizations for scientific data sets. Using technology like the Oculus Rift and MS HoloLens, Christine created visualizations for projects such as the SAGE-3 instrument on the International Space Station. Her work has helped refine the utilization of virtual and augmented reality tools in scientific settings and has opened up new possibilities for public outreach experiences and engineering design. Spring-summer 2016 intern Erica Mazuros supported Langley Autonomous Operations for Unmanned Aerial Vehicles and Rovers. Erica researched novel uses for standard natural language processing techniques, leveraging tested linguistic tools to increase trust in the system by enabling transparency and mitigating frustration. The results of her efforts increases ease in system use. For more information on Langley Research Center internships, please contact one of our NIFS team members. Hello, my name is Adrian Ponce. I'm the manager of the student programs here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the Education Office. And I also work as an investigation scientist on Mars 2020, that's the next rover going to Mars. And uh, today I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about opportunities here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory for students, internships and so on. So uh, welcome to our uh, booth, the JPL booth of the Virtual Career Fair, and hopefully you'll enjoy and learn a lot of things about the opportunities, and those will have very real impacts for you uh, in your future careers. Okay, so let's dive into this uh, in a little bit more detail. Here at JPL, we have a lot of research opportunities for students. We bring in about 700 students in the summer for research experiences that are typically 10 weeks or longer but also year round. So we uh, have students coming all year pretty much. And um, those students that come here operate alongside mentors and uh, basically participate in the discovery process. Uh, they're uh, pushing really the, the frontier of human knowledge alongside these mentors. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about those opportunities. But first, let me tell you a little bit about JPL itself. It's got, uh, a great history where uh, JPL uh, was responsible for launching America's first satellite that actually made the very first discovery in space, the Van Allen radiation belt, is responsible for the first interplanetary spacecraft and uh, just uh, has really been responsible for many of the discoveries of what we know of our solar system and beyond. So let me tell you a little bit about what's currently 
going on in terms of missions here at JPL. And um, you can, you know, probably most of you know that uh, we're most well known for Mars exploration. So the Mars rovers, the Mars orbiters, um, and there have been a lot of great discoveries there. And we have interns that participate in those missions, both you know, in terms of formulation, the development of those missions, and ultimately operating the missions and working with the data that comes back. And in this slide, you can see there are lots of other spacecraft uh, that are represented. For example, you see Voyager spacecraft here. Those are the first human-made objects that are going beyond the solar system. Uh, we have a mission that's in the outer planets right now, um, Cassini, that it's in its last few months, so it's doing a deep dive and getting closer and closer to the Saturn atmosphere, learning with ever-increasing resolution about that planet. And uh, we also have many of the um, Earth-observing satellites that are used to learn about the Earth climate system. That's especially important as that is undergoing a change, as we know. And um, also missions that look out uh, beyond our solar systems, like Kepler and, and other astrophysical observations, looking at exoplanets and so on. So um, there are a whole host of missions. In fact, now is a great time to come to JPL because we're operating more missions than ever before. Our workforce uh, is very strong and is growing, and uh, there are ever-growing opportunities. So let me tell you a little bit about what those opportunities are. So here uh, I'm showing an example of uh, a science opportunity in, in microbiology. Basically, uh, when we send spacecraft to places like Mars and planning on sending spacecraft to icy worlds like Europa or Enceladus, we have to be sure that the spacecraft are clean of microorganisms. They're not contaminated because we don't want to carry those organisms to those places because they could contaminate it, could yield false positive readings, uh, and, and that's not acceptable. So we have um, and research opportunities shown here where uh, students work alongside mentors to use uh, biochemical and microbiology techniques to map out what types of microorganisms are present in spacecraft assembly facilities and how to get rid of them. And so that's a, a great opportunity to do lab work, um, to do molecular biology, microbiology, biochemistry, and so on. Another opportunity uh, focusing a little bit more, more on technology and engineering has to do with uh, here what we call starshade technology. And this is technology that will ultimately help uh, us look at other suns that potentially contain planets, and how do we image them when this, the, those suns are so bright? Starshade uh, basically blocks out the light from those suns, and so we can see the light from the much dimmer planets that are orbiting those stars. And so there are some very uh, uh, interesting and uh, cutting-edge technology being developed here at JPL uh, that involves the design of structures that unfold and get placed in front of the telescope to block out the star's light. And so lots of engineering, uh, lots of computational work, and lots of uh, kind of uh, work in the lab as well to test the mechanisms. And so that's a fantastic opportunity for uh, engineering. And again, these are just examples, so keep in mind that there are many missions, uh, and uh, all of those have science needs, engineering, and technology needs. Um, Another example, and this is quite um, cross-cutting, uh, has to do with computer science work. And here I'm just showing an example for our deep space network, uh, which is responsible for communicating with all of these spacecraft that are operating uh, beyond the Earth in deep space. And so this is how we get information back from uh, spacecraft back to Earth, and it gets processed. So a lot of uh, that work uh, requires uh, computer science, looking at the design uh, of um, these missions, uh, for example, um, looking at big data sets, uh, looking at uh, data analysis, and so on. So uh, we have a lot of opportunities for computer science, uh, really because it's cross-cutting. Uh, all missions need computational uh, support or computer science support. Uh, re regardless of which phase they're at in the mission development process. 
So from formulation to development to operations, uh, computer scientists are needed. So um, if uh, you apply and get selected, I wanted to tell you, you know, it's not just working in the lab or working behind a computer. Um, you also have lots of fantastic opportunities to socialize. We have barbecues. There are opportunities to learn where, about other projects, not just your own. We give laboratory tours, technical seminar series. And for those who are getting closer to graduating and looking for a job, hopefully also at JPL, we have professional development seminars, career weeks, poster presentations, so people can see you, present your materials, get impressed, and, and maybe make you an offer to come join us. So um, in any case, uh, I hope this has been very helpful. And uh, we have additional information for you to consider uh, here at these websites and online resources. Uh, we have contact information for one of our uh, program coordinators, Petra Kneisel. So I encourage you to get in touch. I encourage you to get excited and come join us here on an internship at some point. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the content.